Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers Ascension. At the end of the previous episode we managed to get uh, one of these railguns fully welded up, that's right, and we did some fight testing with them, shooting at them some static targets and things, but I have gone ahead and installed the uh, corruption mod, which means that we are now very likely going to be interacting with some pirate raiders coming our way. So we're going to want to be very careful of that. First things first, let's go ahead and see how many semiconductors are built. We can finish the thing off uh, in between episodes. I did go ahead and throw in a few power uh, power cells, those ones, yeah. Uh, let's see. In fact, actually, you know, we can go ahead and schedule some more of those for construction. Always good to have a few lying around. Uh, power cells, make another 300, shall we say? Sure. Um, so, where my superconductor at? Super... Hey, oh, 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 there it is. Uh, that should be enough to finish that thing off. I think I had like 150 uh, from the previous batch made. Let's see, let's fill this in. And, oh, 19 more. Okay, real quick. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh, man, we're so close. And then we'll have two operational railguns. Oh, and as we've seen, they are just so stupidly powerful. It is fantastic. Okay, that's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so we're waiting on the gold ingots. So what we really need to do is uh, start expanding our refining capabilities, especially now that we're bringing in ore and such. Yeah. I think my dreams of, you know, wanting to do a, a raiding-only Let's Play are kind of going to be difficult to implement. Just because the game isn't really balanced in that direction, it, it's really much... It's, it's built for mining, you know? That's, that's sort of the primary point here. Uh, come on. Can I... 18, one more... One more. There we go. Okay, an active railgun. Two active railguns. My apologies. Do we... Oh, that was going a bit fast there. Do we... Oh, I still need to fix this as well. Small steel tubes. Okay, that's, that's easy to fix. But let's get this thing active. Boom. There we go. Two of them. Nice. I won't put idle turret movement on. It's kind of annoying with these big guns. Uh, but with these guys, I don't mind. That, they can, they can, oh, let's also increase their aiming radius, and they can have idle turret movement. Nice. I think the point defense systems will drop down, though. Uh, yeah, those can go down to, like, ooh. Point defense, those can go down, what, what's the safe distance? Uh, maybe 400 meters? I'd rather, I mean, they, they're kind of inaccurate, so don't spray until, you know, you're probably gonna hit it. Uh, you can shoot meteors, but that's not really gonna be a problem. You need to shoot missiles, yes. Uh, target small ships, large ships, character stations, neutrals, sure. Uh, no, not neutrals. Don't don't go shooting any civilian ships, unless I tell you to. Uh, and the same goes for you lot. Uh, let's just make sure, no missiles yet, no meteors, definitely not, just in case I decide to put it on. Uh, it's at 2.5 kilometers, sure, not neutrals. And recharge railgun, yeah, okay, cool, that should be everything. I think we just need to make sure that they share their inventory equitably. Yeah, all 38 of them were in there. Okay, so something else we saw in our testing is that the more power we have on this thing, the faster these railguns will charge. And I'd really like to improve their rate of fire by including a large reactor somewhere on here. So the best place realistically would be, well, you know, right over here because we have a connector port right there. We could pipe up very easily. And uh, we could just move the antenna back three blocks. So that's something we might look into. But I don't know if we have the... How much does a large reactor cost to build? Uh, where is it on my... I have it here somewhere on my list. Seven. There we go. That is 2,000 reactor components. I think we have enough from that large red ship which we started off at eight episodes ago. And nearly 20 hours worth of gameplay. Oh boy, it's been a long haul. 673... 3,000. Okay, yeah, so we can make a large reactor. It'll still max out our power consumption, but it'll dramatically improve our recharge rate. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's the way to go here. So let's see how much... Of, I don't I know when people power all of this, so we could use these cargo containers in the interim just to store some of this stuff. Lovely. And I am going to have to make several trips, so I might as well just weld this up with what I got out of there. Okay, that functions now. Lovely. And we're going to need a connector pipe, and I need interior plates, apparently. Do I have any on me? Of course not. Let's go get some. Okay, I just need 20 more superconductor and 10 more construction components, and we're going to have ourselves a large reactor. Yes! 
Oh man, I, that's just such a... Oh, okay, let's see if this works better. So 10 more construction components and 20 more superconductors, which I think are still, yes, being made in the assembler. Lovely. You use this stuff in the, semi, the superconductors, that is, in essentially all advanced tech, so getting as much gold as we did was just really fantastic. Now, silver is used in the reactor components, which is kind of why it's so great to have them. Uh, so let's get this thing powered up so at least it's contributing. So, boom. That should do the trick. Nice. Okay, so now our recharge rate is going to be dramatically higher. Which is super cool. But we're going to want to armor this thing, you know, just like ludicrously. Just through the teeth. So, now it's time to start the fun job of planning that out. So, I'm going to take the color in the same one. We will be changing it. It's probably going to end up being black, I think. But for the most part, you know, we'll just do it like this. And I'm going to have to do most of this armoring by hand because the Quasimodo is not in the right configuration. And honestly, I, I couldn't really be asked to fix it. <laughs> I'm kind of wishing I'd now made this an even symmetry. So rather than an odd number of blocks, it was an even one with two, a two gap here. Because that'd be a great place to put that antenna that wouldn't extend its sort of profile too much. But you know what? We work with what we're given, right? So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make it work. It'll be okay. We'll, we'll make this happen. So now we need to just need to work out how we want to do some of these pieces, like here. Do we go with uh, one of these, maybe? Or do I want to extend the frame a bit further out? Obviously, these will have to go in their current position. They don't work very well. Hmm. Could stick that there. And then slap, like, one of these, one of these... Sort of that sort of style. That could be pretty nifty, right? Um, yeah, it's going to require quite a bit of experimentation. But that's the fun part of Space Engineers, is just finding out what works for your style. You know, what, what works for your build. Okay, that's interesting. So the side flanks are actually a smaller size. Oh. Okay, well that does sort of kind of give a certain... Uh, intentionality to the design, which I do enjoy. Oh, inertial, da inertial dampeners, inertial dampeners, X there we go. Oh, turned my jetpack off. That was a bit of a, that was a bit of a cluster mess. Um, so put that there. Okay, cool. But this isn't really getting me to the point where I can armor this. The sort of extension coming out the side there, unless, actually, hold on. Uh, maybe I am preempting here. Preemptively. Uh, would be nice we could stick uh, one of these bad boys in there and then light on the slopes I'm kind of okay with this not being completely covered uh, is that a bad idea this I mean the whole point of this right is to not draw fire it's it's for ranged engagement so maybe Lightly armoring it is the right way to go. Also, it's it's I don't really have the resources for like an intensive Protective system around this whole thing Hmm, I guess sometimes you just kind of got to work with the resources you've got So let's try and let's continue that slope as we see it above here Down this way. Oh other way around. Sorry my mistake. This needs to go like That now is that going to work? And we could put a tip on it there. So the sides appear deliberate. Hmm. What if we made this an armor tip as well? Oh, and of course we're losing the light. Because then we could stick these little corner pieces in there. Like that. See how that looks. Yeah, that looks kind of intentional, doesn't it? I don't hate that. Okay, so what is your other option here? That's for the large blocks, yeah. So that's if I was having this block one over. Will we include that there? Is that necessary? You know what we could do there? Just because it's, I'm about to lose the light as it is. Could stick one of these in there. Oh, I need construction components. Whoopsies. Okay, what does that look like if it's stuck in, sort of snug in there? Let's weld all this up. That could work. Yeah, I mean, it, again, it sort of matches the same aesthetic we've got going on downstairs. So, 
You know what? Let's roll with it. Let's roll with it and see where it takes us. We can always change it in the end, right? So this is going to need one of these and one of those. And then in this gap right here, I like to do them as I go so that I don't sort of, you know, forget to fill in a certain block or something. Because otherwise, oh man, otherwise it's just a nightmare. Now once you've got this thing right, I will be blueprinting it and making it available for you, if you like, uh, on the workshop. And a link to that will be included in the description of uh, whichever episode it ends up happening in. And of course I will inform you when I decide to do it. Uh, that's looking good. I'm liking the way the front's looking already. It's simple. I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing incredible, you know, but it is... There you go. I mean, that does look more battle station-y. It's more deliberate. And it do, it do, I do like the lines flowing down the side. So we've got this clear band here, a clear band here, which we're going to be mirroring. Mirroring. Uh, on, and actually, oh, we can't mirror it on the side because of the thrusters. So we're going to have to get creative and do something else with that space. Ooh, now oh, this is getting intriguing. Uh, there's nothing that's really going to fit in here very well. Yeah, that's the one piece that Space Engineers is still kind of missing, is a corner block that fits between these two slopes. Uh, if I'm missing something, please let me know. But I, I don't, as, I, as far as I'm aware, there isn't actually one that sort of comfortably fits in here. And I do want to armor this thruster. So perhaps the best thing we can do here is just to include a half block. Uh, let's just get down to one. Maybe like something like that. Uh, it looks a bit jank, doesn't it? Let's, uh, let's just test this out. Let's just weld that up. How does that look? Uh, it blends in well enough. You can't really see the lines. And we can, again, as with everything, we can come back to it, right? So let's put down, let's just finish the shape off properly. Uh, and I want that thruster completely covered. So I think what we'll actually do is to break up that line. We'll uh, take, yeah, the small slope here. There we go. That, that sort of keeps this ridge as a distinct line. And we'll be doing some color work on it all just to make sure that it really stands out nice and prominent. I've uh, been a lot of the building off camera for this series so far. And I figured, you know what? Let me bring you guys along for some of it, because it can get kind of interesting how my mind wanders, I guess. <laughs> or at least, you know, I quite enjoy it when I see other Space Engineers players, you know, doing similar sort of work. So I figured maybe you guys might want to check out some of this stuff. So let's stick that there. And that there. And we're going to weld up these corners. Now, does that break up the lines? Ah, well enough. Yeah, and the nice thing about this craft is that it doesn't necessarily need to mirror anything else because it being different is kind of what makes it cool in a way. Um, so let's stick a couple corner lights in here as well. I want a lot of lights on this thing just to make sure that like it's really visible. You know, like it's it's not it's not a matter of uh, uncertainty as to where it is because I don't want to fly into it by accident. So either we have the corner lights up there, or we, I think, you know, what we'll do is we'll take out these side lights. Ooh, no, we'll leave the side lights in. But I think we should take out these corner pieces and put lights in here, like we did there. It's less armor, but I mean, this armor isn't going to do all that much anyway, right? So, might as well put it in. And I'm a bit concerned that we haven't seen any pirates yet because when I tested it out, the corruption PVE mod started spawning them quite literally instantaneously. Huh. Which makes me think that either I didn't install it properly, or something's bugged out. I'll have to investigate both of those, though. Oh no, never mind. There it is. There's a corrupt hacker drone. Coming in. Energy low. Oh boy. It's sitting just outside range of my railguns. Hmm. I haven't seen any messages from it yet, so we'll see what it gets up to. But I don't like the look of that, I'll be honest. Oh, there we go. Too much time on the computers will give you a headache. I mean, that's 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 actually just great health advice. Thank you, Mr. Hacker Drone. But what does that mean? I read the tooltips for this mod, right? And apparently what the Hacker Drone does is it kind of gets into your uh, your stuff, your, your, your components and things, and uh, totally messes with them. So, like, it'll turn off our reactors or, you know, shut down a refinery or whatever. 
So it's a good thing to make sure that your stuff is either floating out of a gravity well or, you know, safely embedded in a voxel. Uh, all of which, uh, all of which is true for us. Too much time on computers will give you a headache, it says. I wonder what it's done to our computers. Maybe it shut something down. Uh, as far as I can tell, all of its stuff is kind of just frustrating. Like it'll, it'll, you know, scramble the nodes on something. And I, I don't know if it can only attack blocks with an antenna or not. Because if so, then only two of my ships are in danger. But I should probably disconnect this thing from the main grid so it can't mess with my primary base. Let's go ahead and just park this on the ground for now. There we go. Did I break that connector? I think I might have. Oh no, it's fine. Tough thing. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Spit in the old gyros. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, control panel. Gyroscope. 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 Uh, uh, override controls. Stop it. There we go. Oh boy. Okay, control panel. Gyroscope. Um, oh, that's what I needed to change. That. Go down. Oh no. Oh no. Reset to zero. Reset to zero. Reset to zero. Whew. If set, the gyro does not respond. Yeah, there we go. Now we can control it. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to have to go fight that thing. Because it's going to be a problem otherwise. I can already tell. Um, this is better than owning a label gun? Oh man, please don't turn one of my turrets against me. Okay, okay. No, no. We need to deal with this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and stash all of this equipment that we don't need on us right now. And we're going to take our minigun and just go and blast that asshole. Oh, yeah, hold on. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can use our grinder against it. Maybe it doesn't have any sort of real turrets or anything. It's worth a look either way, right? So production, uh, inventories. We're going to need, uh, let's take a grinder and a welder. But not our, not our best ones, just the decent stuff. Corrupt hacker drone. Okay, let's go take this thing out. I'm going to try and skirt it, because I know a lot of these drones have forward-facing Gatling guns. Oh man, it messed with the lights, damn it. Ah, I don't fuck with my lights. That's just annoying. Okay, let's get close, let's get close. Stupid drone hacking my ships and stuff, eh. Hello? Okay, well it didn't shoot at me, I'm behind it right now. Uh, huh. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. And then, where's that? Oh, man, now I'm just sitting out here like an idiot. Scythe, there's too many weapons. And we need the welder. Let's take out your antenna. I think it was disabling my turrets there, so I'm going to have to go around the ring and just see what it tore apart. Yeah, let's cut into this thing, see what we can take. Get rid of its gyroscope. Well, it doesn't seem particularly bothered that I'm cutting into it. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's hacking AI isn't as good as it protects, pretends to be, you know? What's that? O2H2 generator? I uh, don't mind if I do. Thank you. Ooh, some ice. Delish. And some light armor slopes. Oh, yummy. I'll take the free ice, thank you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, we got a scout coming in. Uh, if that attacks me, I'll be okay. Oh, what does it say? All your base are belong to us. Well, not anymore. Text panel. Take that. Oh, is that a O2H2 generator? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, that's that's pretty easy to get through. SPRT booty found? What? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Something's shooting. Something's shooting. Where's my base? Where's my base? Oh no! Oh no, I don't know what to do! I need to disable this thing! Okay, quickly, 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 let's just... Take it out! Take it out! Stop turning my things off! Just cut through this thing. God damn it, take out its reactors. It's probably the best way to go about this, yeah? It's still online. Uh... Just cut through all of its reactors. There we go. It's dead. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's just make a quick marker so I can come and scrap this thing later. Uh, new from current position. 
Cool. And then back to base. Very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. Where's home? Home. It said booty found. Now, if I remember correctly, that's a base game event where the pirates will come and attack you. And I did see shots being fired. Oh, man. Okay, well, everything seems like it's still intact. This is still functional, but that railgun has moved. And there's something on fire down here. Did these guns use ammo? Let's just check. Yes, they did. Oh, okay, well, all that's left of whatever attacked me is a missile launcher, apparently. Let's hack that and see if we can't get some, some bullets. Hey, two missiles, nice. Anything else left here? Uh, we'll have to have a look in the day. But hey, okay, base defense has worked. Nice. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it messed with my lights. You know? You know? I kind of like the disco show, I'll be honest with you. I think we're going to leave that there for a second. A little bit of a disco party. Um, okay, but all this does is tell me that, yeah, we do, in fact, need to set this back up again. So, or rather set up, let's finish this armoring job. So I've got a basic shell on the outside here set up. That's it's not looking too shab. Uh, how much steel did I steal off that thing? 45 plates still left. That's fine. Let's go ahead and just weld up the basic armor. Okay, so we have something resembling a hard case on tops and bottoms. And it's it's going to be a bit brickish if we're not careful. So we need to, need to think of some clever coloring lines or something to make sure this thing is usable. Hmm... Okay, well, we can armor here. Right. Uh, do I need to access inside here at all? No. I really just need to be able to get to that control panel if I want it. So, I think we're just going to go ahead and stick full blocks in here for extra strength. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Are you shooting? No. Okay, just idle movement. That's fine. Yeah, idle movement can... It's such it's a tricksy one, because it looks cool. I like it. You know, I like the way it, it sort of makes things... It makes the turrets seem like, the, you know, that they're, they're constantly searching for bad guys to shoot. But it doesn't... Oh, come on, cut away. But it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't do much for the heart rate, you know. It's it's a bit terrifying, I'll be honest. Yeah, and maybe what we can do here is just that we've got a bit of internal space, is we can include a door uh, right here. Do one of these sliding doors. We're never going to pressurize this thing, obviously. It's it's a, it's a battle station, you know? It's not a ship. Um, but we could include a couple of doors on either side. So there aren't any gaps in the armor, but we can access the inside. And then if we ever want to put any scripts or timer blocks, anything in here, we have a bit of a build space right over here for us to access things. We could also maybe put in an assembler or something. Maybe some more batteries, I don't know. But we'll have that space available to us. Uh, then, you know what? I think for now, let's just go ahead and... We'll close this off with half blocks. Again, just so we got a bit more room internally. So it doesn't feel too cramped. But maybe... Hmm, but with this space here, I do kind of want to have something in the way. So maybe... Maybe, I'm saying maybe a lot. Maybe... Maybe... We go ahead, right, and we throw in... Uh... Is there a better way to place this? I kind of want to get it so that... Hmm... What do I want? It's a good question. Uh, I want to be able to link up this piece. Here we go. This piece here. With a light armor slope here. Like that. So that we can have something interesting in this corner. Maybe we do one of these and it'll look kind of interesting from the inside. Yeah, yeah, then there's like a bit of a bend to it. And then we can stick a panel on there, like a catwalk panel. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh man, Magma Boots, what are you doing? Mag Boots. So let's cut that out and then we'll stick in uh, one of these here, same as the outside. And then we need to go up one, build in that block. 
and then build in that. No, wrong way. Whoops. And build in this block. Uh, rotate, 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 rotate. Just to spam the keys until it gets somewhere close to what. Oh man, I'm in exactly the same position. I've achieved nothing. There we go. Okay. I'm going to weld all this up, and we're going to have a quick peek at how it looks. Now, this gyroscope is kind of in the way, because I, I really want to put some uh, some LCD panels in here, so that I can sort of get a better idea of what's going on at any given time. And it's, it's kind of harsh in my vibe, I'll be honest. So, I'm thinking of sticking it out here somewhere, since we do need to armor this up, you know, in some way, as it is. We might as well make use of the new space that we have to deal with. Um, you know, we could put a couple on here. Maybe just one's fine. One here. Uh, is that really where we want to put it? Huh, I'm going to have to think about it. Also, why is there scrap metal everywhere? I feel like we got shot. There's a lot of scrap metal everywhere. What's all this about now? Oh, look at it. It's everywhere. And it's all exactly... Oh, it's two scraps. 16 scrap. 16 scrap. Did we get shot? We must have got shot. That or... I was grinding down components without noticing, maybe? What's going on here? I'm a little bit confused. Oh, yeah, no, we, we did. We got shot. How are you all looking? Are you, are you still fully fine? Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Either we got shot or something slammed into this thing. Or the turret was turned against us and used against the ship. Maybe one of the turrets down there targeted us and the railgun took it out. I don't know. Whatever it is, the armor worked though. Thank God it was there, right? That could have ended badly. I'm not sure what shot us, but whatever it was did a fair bit of damage. One of the connectors was broken inside and I was wondering how that happened. That makes a bit more sense now. Quite a bit more sense now. Okay, nice. Um, I don't like how this thing just sort of ends up front here. We're going to have to rework the front there, but, you know, for now, this is this is coming out okay. I'm, I'm not hating what we're looking at just at present. So that's good. Uh, okay, now how did we do... Okay, so you're actually lower down this one is. Which is going to make doing this curve interesting, to say the least. Hmm. It's never easy, is it? Let's take out this slope here. And see if we can't exchange that for something a bit more interesting. What if we do... Sort of like... Uh... Yeah, just to kind of give a bit of shape to the side here. I do prefer that. I do prefer that, yeah. Okay, and then we can stick some corner pieces on here. Just again, just to give a bit of just give a bit of angular shape to it. You should be able to fit like this, right? No, you won't. Of course, you shall be difficult. Eh, do one of those. Yeah, I kind of like the way that, that angle changes. That's cool. Uh, you may have noticed, I, I like my ships to look a bit janky. Almost like they were tacked, not tacked together, but... I don't know, like, put together when you didn't have quite enough equipment. That's sort of the aesthetic I go for, and I tend to incorporate scaffolding in a lot of my survival builds. I just raw scaffolding, because I find it adds, I don't know, like a certain layer to the work that you can't otherwise really get. And I think we'll leave this this exposed there. Because, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll leave that exposed there. Can this turret aim down beneath it? No. No, it can't. Okay. Even though with, you know, with the back rack like that, you think it would be able to fold all the way around. I doubt it can. Hmm. Okay, so what are we putting in next? Well, we have to work out where we're going to relocate that gyroscope, and I think probably the easiest way to do that is to stick it behind... I, I don't really want to expose it, 
So I think maybe we should keep it indoors here because we do have a little bit of space we can work with. If I cut down into this, right, like that, and then I go ahead and I stick a light on the slope right here, hold that up, boom, we have a space right there we could stick this gyroscope in, which might, in fact, it is exactly what I'm going to do. So I need to do this very quickly so that we don't accidentally, uh, you know, uh, fire the railgun while we have absolutely no way to stabilize ourselves. So uh, just excuse me very quickly as I weld all of these steel plates into this thing. There we go. Okay, gyroscope is live again. Perfect. Now we have space here. Ha ha. Ah, this is getting interesting. Okay, I uh, kind of fall into the hole a bit there. So what we could do... As well. Oh man, uh, <laughs> uh, I think we'll do the same thing down here and we'll move that remote control block downstairs as well. What are you? A light armor cor corner? We did get hit by something. What the hell, man? I didn't even notice. Huh. Mysteries. Maybe I'll see it in editing. I, if I don't though, I, I, I think I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say to you. I, I just didn't expect to have to deal with that, to be honest. Uh, let's stick this thing like this. That should be fine. And weld that up. I think that's in the correct orientation. It might not be. I think that that dot needs to face the direction you want it to... You want it to be the front, you know. Uh, oh, let's just sit in here and warm up a bit. We're getting kind of chilly. Oh, I really like the way those real guns look. A lot. Yeah, it's a simple craft, this. But, uh, you know, it is, it's essentially a porcupine. That might just be what we name it in the end. Okay, so now we've got this space here. So I want to put some LCD panels in. Yes, because we're going to be running a couple of scripts on here. Just to make sure that you know, we can get all our readouts. I want one displaying our inventory of weapons. I want one displaying our inventory, our power reserves. And I want one re displaying um, any turret or grid damage. So I'm going to have to find some scripts to work with that. But we, won't, we won't, probably won't deal with that right now. That's, that's like probably phase three of this build. We'll be setting all that up. So what we can do is set up some interior lights. Because right now, it's pretty red in here. So the trick is going to be to find some way to stick one. You know, I think putting a double set on either side of these batteries is going to look kind of nifty. Yeah, look at that. Now we're talking. Okay, so you come in. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and get our two double corner lights. Let's change the color a bit. Yeah, nice and blue. We'll up the radius. As always, drop the intensity and the fall off. Just to soften the light of it. So you come in. You now you fly in here. It's the same sort of like bluish ship lighting. And voila. You can sit in the cockpit. You can look here and you can see the various screens for your readouts. And then you can control the ship as such. Nice. Very nice. I am considering putting uh, in the center block here. Uh, there we go. I am considering putting a large cannon of some kind in this block right here. Um, in fact, actually, you know what, let me remove it so that I keep thinking about that. Because we do have some really cool guns uh, we could use. Let me head over to block 7, head over to weapons and tools. And as you can see, we have some large fixed guns. 120mm fixed gun. Now that could do the trick, couldn't it? We could put another rail gun there, but I'm a bit terrified of having too many of those. Oh, I think this is only for small ships. Yeah, all of these are. Do we have any fixed guns for large ships? Fixed Gatling, 230mm fixed cannon. That could be interesting. How big? Oh, yes. Now, that's the right amount of phallic. Oh, okay. It's got a bit of a weird... <laughs> oh, that's a bit odd. Okay, so the connection point is on the bottom. Uh, maybe a Gatling gun then? Where's your connector point? Also on the bottom. So these are sort of side mounted. I suppose we could stick them here. That could be kind of cool. And then, you know, have like 
extra tire. Well, that's something to consider. We'll, we'll work it out. Um, because I don't think... Where does the rail gun attach? We can always add another rail gun. <laughs> oh, man, look at this thing. It's just stupid strong. Oh. This is just getting a bit silly, honestly, at this point. So you could have two turrets aiming, and then a central one for direct fire. What the hell hit me? We def something definitely crashed into us because there was a the light armor slope lying inside the thing and there was this, all the scrap metal everywhere. Maybe that burning piece of trap. Okay, so there's that. Is this the piece that was on fire near the base? No, this is another piece. Okay, yeah, so whatever attacked us is lying in ruins all around the crater. Here's some more. Oh, whoa, uranium, score. And some more scrap metal. Nice. Uh, I'll just probably have to go around here every now and then and just pick these pieces up. But it's pretty nifty. What are you, like silver or something? I wonder what else was left behind. Very strange. Where was that piece that was on fire? God, there's like nothing left of that ship. We completely wiped it out. Pretty awesome. Is that the one I just saw? Yes, it might be. You know, I might as well just grind this up and take the pieces. Oh, we're out of oxygen. Never mind. Never mind. That's a secondary concern now. Oh, no. 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 Quickly. Give me. Give me oxygen tank. Oh, God. Why does it not open that automatically? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's get some health. So before we add the rest of our exterior here, I think it's probably a good idea to add in all of the internal blocks we're going to want to be using. So included in that is going to be a projector. Uh, and I think you put the one with the cross facing forwards if you want it to project forwards. And the idea behind the projector here is that this will hold a projection of the finished craft and consistently overlay it over that craft. So making repairs really easy. So we can basically just go in and, you know, zoot it and it'll be done. Then we're going to want a couple timer blocks, I'm guessing. I, I don't know, but, you know, it's probably best just to assume we might need them. So I'm going to stick a couple of timer blocks over here on this outer edge. Uh, interior plate three, huh? Maybe we should stick them under here, actually, so they're less exposed. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I don't want these things getting shot and messing up my code. So we'll put in a single timer block for now, actually, now that I think about it. And then we'll go ahead as we'll stick in, oh, programmable blocks. Yeah, one there and one there. Okay, that'll allow us to run any scripts we want to run. And I mean, again, like if we want to add more stuff, we can at a later stage. Okay, I really need displays and interior plates to finish all that off. Oh man, and this this disco light show coming off of this thing is... I, I don't hate it, I'll be honest, you know? Maybe I'm a tacky dude, but I don't hate it. It's it's not that bad. I think it looks kind of snazzy in a, in a weird, weird way. Okay, so I've done a bit more armor work on the, Chori on the Cheeto Dorito here. And something rather unexpected but beautiful has come up. Um... It, it, it has a face, <laughs> or more, more accurately, it has a beak. Uh, look at that, it's got two eyes and a little mouth, and it's just absolutely adorable. Um, so, I, I'm afraid, I think we're gonna have to name this thing the Penguin. Look at it, or the Toucan, maybe? Oh man, yeah, the Cheeto Toucan. Uh, and so I think it's time to do it some justice and give it a proper paint job at that. So, uh, let me see what we can do about this. Maybe, let's try, like, a black line down here. Does that, is that the wrong idea? Am I getting the wrong end of the stick here? You know what I think might be better is if we control shift, middle click, paint the whole thing black, right? Ooh, yeah, now we're, now we're talking. Uh, excuse me? All the thrusters just went out. Is there a, is there a particular reason for that? So the thrust is going out? Did, did I glitch something, maybe? Uh, control panel. Let's put all the thrusters in a group. Thrusters. Save. Off on. There we go. Okay, yeah, it, was just a, it was just a graphical glitch. Alright. Okay, so it's still got its look, but it's a bit less ridiculous now. 
So, now we can begin coloring it, and I do want to still go with the same sort of hazard orange theme that we had here. But I don't know if we do the whole thing... Now it looks a bit like it's blushing. Uh, do we do something like this? Hmm. No. No, I don't like that. Oh, crap. That's not what I meant to do. Control-Shift-P. Okay. So I will fix the thrusters. They are still functioning. That's what matters here. Can we now... Hmm. Maybe we leave the front of the ship completely thick. And I just want to kind of, like, add accent colors, as it were. So... Okay, so it's completely black now. Do we go with the orange, or do we go with more of, like, a... Well, let's see. What if we paint all of this orange? As well as that turret by accidentally, but sure, whatever. We'll roll with it. And... Uh, no, I don't love that. Okay, let's, let's change this one over. And the, and the turret. And I go black again. Thank you. Uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, we can maybe try and work with it. I'm not loving it, though. That's the... Uh, this isn't McDonald's here for me. Uh, makes it kind of look fatter, to be honest. I was trying to make it look less obtuse. Um, no, let's, let's keep that color black. If you guys have any suggestions for how you think I should approach this, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, I'm always looking for some updates, some hints, you know, some little, little, little it's assistance in it's never, never gone wry. What's going on here? Why can't I paint this one? Yeah, we'll look into that in a second. So if we paint these orange, right, so they stand out a bit, that adds a bit of accent color. Let's get, oh, I really should get that paint gun mod. Makes all this a lot easier. Let's get that orange. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't hate this. Huh, I'm too picky. That's the problem. I also need to redo that side. I, I know I'm missing some blocks there. Uh, so we could do like that, like that. Oh, man, come on. There, there, there. Hmm. Okay... Yeah, I'm, I'm missing, uh, I think I'm missing an extension here or something on that side. Something's up. Oh yeah, I know what it is. I'm missing blocks here. I think you need to now... Yeah, yeah, it's a long slope. Okay, so let's just fix that before I forget. No, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Uh, so we got to throw this in there, and then small slope there. I just thought that sort of gave it a bit more of an angular look. A bit cooler. Okay, it's starting to take shape now. Uh, we got two, we got a distinct line running down the middle. And I don't dislike that. Horizontal stripes do make it look a bit fat, though. Huh. Huh. What if... What if, right, let's grab this color again. Uh, grab the color, please. What if we paint these side things as a yellow? How does that look? Pretty janky, in all honesty. Maybe with the tips done? Uh, that's less terrible. That's, that's actually not that bad. Okay, yeah, we'll leave the antenna black and stuff. That's fine. So now how to do the front? Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's... I don't actually like the way these look, so let's hide those in the colors. And then, you know, we might actually just do something very simple, like we've got here, where we just take the color and just dab it on to that first block. There we go, just to kind of separate things. Maybe sort of mirror the actual railgun itself. Sort of first and last. There you go. 
also make sure we still can see our toucan. <laughs> oh man. I don't know why I've got toucan. It's just the long beak. You know, the long sort of pointed beak that comes to its hip. That's, uh, from, in my mind, that just screams toucan. Sue me. I, I don't know why. It's just, it's just what my brain's telling me. So you can be that color. What about the rail gun? Should you be orange? I don't think so. No, that's a bit, that's a bit on the nose, as it were. Or the beak, in this instance. Uh, let's just paint it black again. Okay. Nice. So, inside, how does it look? How are things looking? Oh, I like the accent colors on the edges there. And there's our gravity generator, by the way. I moved the remote control block to the back left. Okay. It's pretty snazzo. It's pretty snazzo. Um, I'm going to do a bit of tweaking with the settings inside, and then I'll be blueprinting this thing, which will be available for download. Um, I'll link it in the description below so you guys can get on it. So let's just, let's just have a little walk around. So you come on here, you can walk over. Don't step here because you'll fall into a thruster. Um, fortunately, not much of a way for me to... Could put a could put a catwalk here to stop you going over the edge, I suppose. I'll think about it. I'm not that fussed. But yeah, you can actually walk almost all the way... To oh, what's going on here? Hold on. I think that's supposed to be a square. Yeah, that's supposed to be a square. Uh, this is the things we check before we blueprint. Bye-bye. Light on the block. And then a slope. There we go. Okay, that's a bit better. And is that slope still correct? It is. Okay, lovely. So, yeah, I'm going to slap a few more lights on this thing. I'm going to tweak the settings of all the bits on here, hide the stuff, put it into groups, you know, the, the casual, set up the taskbar, all that sort of stuff. Um, maybe tweak the colors a little bit in places I feel like they still need some love. And there are a couple culprit spots I'm seeing. Like, there's a remote control still exposed there. Uh, do I love that? So is the projector. Hmm... We'll look into it. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, actually, that that's a bit exposed. It, it's a pretty small margin for a bullet to hit, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tweak this a little bit, just here and there, and we will come back when we have a more completed toucan. And the blueprint's ready. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, shit! We're being attacked! Oh, oh no! Oh, no! We're being attacked! They're being- oh! Oh man, I was busy configuring the, um, the inventories, and I just got taken by completely by surprise. Oh shit, I think we've taken them out though, for the most part. Okay, I need to get my turrets to bear on these things, this is- this is not working out for me. I don't know why my railguns aren't firing. Something is wrong here. Okay, the barnacles are doing most of the work here. Finish the damn thing off. Oh, I'm taking friendly fire. Okay, well, that was dramatic. Whew. Okay, so we just got attacked. That was brutal, and I was, I mean, here was me just sitting around tweaking things. God damn it. Why the hell did my turrets not fire? Railgun turret top and bottom? They're off. I turned the damn blocks off instead of turning them off in... Ah! Oh, Railgun turret. Well, let's go assess the damage. Um, I'm just sort of getting this thing blueprint ready, you know, saving all my groups and things like that. And, oh man, that's gonna hurt. Well, I'm gonna have to fix it before I blueprint it now. I was just about to do that too. Damn it. And we've got a large ship coming in. Okay, how broken is everything? Uh, there's nothing we can't fix pretty quickly. Okay, I don't think any of our turrets got destroyed or damaged. How are these doing? They're fine. Oh yeah, even these guys, they didn't even take that much damage. Okay, good. The system works. <laughs> um, as long as no blocks are actively... Ah, there we go, we got a missing block. Okay, they went off to my projector. But I think the projector itself is okay. Yes, it is. Okay, lovely. Um, we didn't lose anything major, did we? Ah, uh, that light. Got a bit, we got poked, but that's, that's survivable. Sliding door got damaged a bit. And of course, all the turrets were, uh, 
all the, 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 the doors were open, because I was uh, busy configuring that. Okay, let's put this thing back together real quick before we blueprint it. It's not going to be very pretty if it's in pieces, is it? Okay, so I've just managed to blueprint it. Now we need to head over to the projector. We need to go ahead and load up... Uh, hold on. Uses the current ship as the blueprint for this projector. This copies the ship in its current state with all the current blocks fixed, but it doesn't automate update it as it changes. Interesting. Okay, so that's a new feature, but we're going to go ahead and load it up the old-fashioned way, just so you guys know how to do it. So we've blueprinted it by selecting, you know, Control B, of course, and now we can see that you know it's a, it's a bit it's a bit flipped around here. So the easiest way to do this, in my experience is to actually hop out. You need to remote control it, now that I remember. Okay, so we hop out, go over here-ish, I guess, and let's go ahead, remote access, get a control of the toucan, cool, control panel, projector, and then uh, we want to start offsetting things, but I need to kinda, oh, that's not gonna work, is it? I need to sort of, offset my view so I can get a piece of it in the corner of the screen. Production, control panel, inventory, control panel, that's what I need. Uh, remote access first, yes, there we go. Cool, then control panel, projector, oh man, the levels. Okay, now we can see. So we need to rotate it for starters. There we go. Okay, I just had to reload the projection. For some reason, it didn't fit, but as you can see, we now have a damaged block that we can just replace. Okay, lovely. That is awesome, and the projection will maintain all of the stats for the various items. Okay, that is so cool. Alright, so I'm going to be putting this thing up in its currently unfinished state, in that it does not have any scripts running on it, and that means you guys can either choose to use them if you want to, or ignore them entirely. I will, in the next episode, be setting up those scripts, and I kind of want to do that on camera um, so that, you know, you guys can sort of follow along and see how I do it. And that should be a pretty cool episode. Let's just go ahead and, what is it, number four? Close those doors up. Nice. All right, so we have ourselves a gunboat. Pretty happy with it. Let's just make sure that our railgun turrets are on now. Yes, they are. Okay, good. What's our inventories looking like? Um, pretty shy on rounds. We're going to need a lot more of those. But all in all, the ship is intact. Okay, that has been uh, episode 9 of Space Engineers Ascension. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. If you have, hit that like button. If you haven't, hit that dislike button. The blueprints for the world and for this craft will be available in the description below if you'd like to play along. I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.